This local sports report is presented by the Fence and Deck Experts, a proud supporter of the Wilmot Wild. Check out the Fence and Deck Experts for professional work and quality service. They make your backyard an extension of your living space, installing custom decks with pressure-treated or composite wood with a glass railing. They also offer a variety of fence options, from wood to vinyl to chain link. Call now to get a quote at 519-804-3325. That's 519-804-DECK. The Wilma Wild returning to their home arena as they hit the floor at the Wilma Rec Complex. The Wild hosting the Halton Hills Bulldogs on Wednesday night. Opening period, here is Jack Buter with the ball. He's got space and he's got the first goal of the night. Buter puts it home just over two minutes in. one nothing Wilma. Then it's the Wild with an odd man break. Owen Smith keeps it and he scores. Smith giving his team a two-goal advantage. Later in the first, Eric Snyder is dishing. He sets up Chase Forsyth, who comes comes in and buries it. Wilmot with a terrific start. They have a 3-0 lead. That it's a power play goal from EJ Kelleher. He's on the near side and he puts it in. Kelleher makes it 4-0. Still in the first, this is Chase Forsyth with a nice feed to Ethan Warden. He scores in front. Wilmot jumping out to a six goal advantage. Back come the Bulldogs. They would strike for two goals before the end of the period. Nice effort on this play as some bodies get tangled up in the crease. It's 6-2 Wilmot after the first. Second period, Ethan Warden picks it up in the corner. He flips it to Eric Snyder, who finishes in front. Nice pass and a good finish. Wilmot is now leading 7-2. Back to the highlights in a minute. First, a reminder, this video is presented by the Fence and Deck Experts, a proud supporter of the Wild. Call now to get a quote at 519-804-3325. Later in the period, Nathan Coverdale scoops it up, and he's got a breakaway. Here here comes Coverdale and he scores. Wilmot looking good with a six goal lead and they keep coming. Troy McDonald in the middle rips it in. McDonald making it a seven goal game as we head to the third. This is Nolan Pete with a bounce shot and a goal. Halton Hills is now trailing 9-3. Back comes Wilmot and it's a long bomb from Eric Snyder. He unleashes a cannon and scores. Snyder had another solid game for the Wild. A few minutes later, how about this effort from Zach Holmes? He is motoring down the floor, and he won't be stopped. The Wild keep on rolling. They pick up the victory. 12-5 is the final on Wednesday night in Junior C Lacrosse.